Actually, a lot of women don't even know that they are paid less than the men. And this is why we're here to, to debate the Section 78 of the Equal Pay Act, because um, a lot of women, because there is no transparency, a lot of women assume they are paid the equivalent of their male counterparts for doing the same work, the same hours. Um, and so um, I, I just hope that today we can, we can shine a light and, uh, on this issue and that more, more and more people can be a bit more confident about speaking up about it. It's always quite tricky with, with acting because, especially in the movie industry, if you're a very, very famous actor, then obviously you're going to bring lots of people to come and see the, show, the play or the, the film. And, and however, it's not equal pay for equal work. I've definitely been in movies where I've been on set exactly the same amount of time as another actor and been paid an eighth of what they are being paid. So it's, it's, definitely, <laughs> it's definitely happening in the movie industry. I mean, even for women to think, yes, I can speak up, I can ask for, for, for a pay rise, I deserve it, I'm not ashamed to do that. In, in ourselves, we often don't feel that it's our place to do that. And, um, and uh, I mean, I'm experiencing it even doing this musical, which is a representation of, of what happened in the 60s. You know, uh, even people watching it are, like, are reluctant to join, join in on it because it's something deep inside them. And um, that sexism is, yeah, it, it's everywhere, <laughs> unfortunately. We've moved on a long, long, we've moved on a lot since the 60s. Um, obviously, um, it's it's but it's more in the lower end of the pay spectrum that these these problems are really this is you know the gap is wider. Um, in uh, it, you know it, it just goes to show what what ha was happening with ASDA at the moment. Um, it's 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 this is where we really need to concentrate. Um, and especially with women that are having children and, and, and need more funding to pay for the upkeep of their children. It's, it's, this is where we really need to concentrate. But it is encouraging that we are, we are moving forward. Okay, thank you, Ray. I just had a hat okay. on. <laughs> ladies, you're both here today with the, some of the original ladies from Dagenham. Gemma, tell us what it means to you to be here, why you're here. Well, I've, obviously I've been working on this play for now three years. I met the ladies and then, you know, all of this stuff happened while this play was coming on. The Asda ladies went on strike and, and it just feels so current. And now we're here with the original ladies that went on strike in the 1960s. And it just feels, I don't know, it feels like we've come full circle if we get, <laughs> if we're successful today. And um, it just goes to show that it's so relevant still and so important. Even the success of the play that we're doing, um, people, are, people are so behind it and so moved by it. And how can you not be? Because it's about, if, you're, if you have a woman in your life in any shape, way, shape or form, whether that be daughter, sister, mother, um, it, it's in your interest that they are treated fairly. And do you feel the pay gap, the gender pressure yourself in your own line of work? I do. It's slightly different in my line of work because it's, you know, obviously we're not paid equally often to the male counterparts. Um, but it really does depend on the part that you're playing and how much how much you bring the audiences in. It's quite different in, as an actor. But definitely in television, um, in journalism, um, I, and, and you know, and even I'm from a working class family, and and it's that's where it's particularly noticeable is in lower pay, lower end of the spectrum, um, uh, cleaning cleaning jobs, people working in shops and stores. So it's 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 all around us. It's so important that this this act is is passed that we're debating today. And the big question for sorry, both of sorry, you, guys, could we kind of on off to flash during the interview? Sorry. No worries. Thank you. I just like off journalism again. <laughs> okay. No, we're, we're, we're good. Why do you think that this inequality still exists 46 years later? A lot has moved on, but it still exists. Why yeah. is that? Well, it's, yes, it's like you say, it's 46 years um, since um, the Dagenham ladies went on strike. We still haven't got equal pay, and it's going to be another 50 or so years at the current rate we're going until we get that. We've got to do something about it. It exists because we haven't been transparent about it. It's so hidden. People don't talk about it. People don't often realise that their male colleagues are being paid more than them unless they go out for it and have a drunken conversation mm. in a bar with someone. 
All we're asking today is for transparency, for a spotlight to be shown, to be shone on on the pay gap, and then when you can do we can do something about it. It's no point just you know discussing statistics, you know, again and again. We just need to have a, have transparency and end this pay gap once and for all. Gemma, why don't you think women do ask for more money? What is it about women that this? problem exists. I think it's something that's ingrained in us. It's been over hundreds and hundreds of years that women's voices have not been heard and we still don't think that we have a voice or if we do have a voice we're told to we, we feel that it's not going to be listened to and I don't know if it's something about being British as well you know we don't talk about our uh, what we earn and and it's not polite and um, and uh, and asking you don't get kind of mentality um, but it's changing absolutely changing and every night when we do this play I see men and women standing up at the end shouting yes for equal pay and it's and some of them are old and some of them are young and some of them are children and 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 people are of now feeling that maybe you know is is the time where they can be heard, um, but yeah, I think uh, it's 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 a quite a British thing in a way to not say I want this and I want it now. We are very polite. <laughs> this isn't a women's issue. This is an issue for anyone. It's an issue about fairness. Um, anybody who believes in fairness should be voting for this um, act today. Why have only five companies? Why do only five companies offer pay transparency? You think? I think because you know, unless you're kind of forced in, forced to do something, you don't bother. I mean, it's it's something else to do on top of all the the rest of the things they have to do. But if everyone, you know, we're not. It's not a judgment. We're just asking for everybody to sign up to it to, to be compulsory to publish anonymous details no one's asking anybody to tell anybody else what their actual salary is it's just to, to shine a light on on the discrepancies that do exist so that we can do something about it and if it's you know it's just something that people do every company with more than 250 employees just has to sign up to it we will end this pay gap quickly and it's not going to take another 50 years to, to change things Brilliant, thanks ladies. That's thanks. great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Are they coming as well? This job's going really
Okay, thanks guys, thank you very much. Okay. Hey. Good morning, how are you? you recognise you with your beret on. Good okay. Right. Nice to see you. So let's have the ladies, are you okay on the Okay, so Jess, we get the over yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Okay. It's going to be the interview day, Sheila, come and sit down. Thank you. Jonathan. James Hood. Somebody's lost a leg. Nick Hoffman. BBC and BBC. I think we should get these guys to Yeah. But in a way. We've done that. It was summer, wasn't it? Yeah. It's all right. We've done that. It was summer. Different times. Different things. We'll have to do it every season in their market. And now it made sense, didn't it? Yes. 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 Yes.